you are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. There we go. You there? Ben? How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, just sitting in my kitchen, having nice. my coffee. Nice. Yeah. Coffee? Aren't you supposed to be drinking yeah. tea? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I'll drink coffee. <laughs> coffee. Hey, got Michael yeah, here. Sit- Michael sitting here next to me also. So you got Michael and uh-huh. Dom here talking with you. So what's going on, man, other than the coffee thing? I know it's pretty late over there. Yeah, I, I, I needed to stay awake. I was, I was drifting off, waiting to call him. Nice. <laughs> what, what did you do to keep yourself awake? Um, I've, I've been convinced to play uh, a game, a PC game called Daisy. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's mm. basically the most boring, frustrating game in the world. You just roam around this fake Russian village collecting <laughs> items to protect yourself against zombies. Nice. The, the Russian zombies, they steal your bread and your toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. You think that game's boring? Wait till you hear this radio show. <laughs> <laughs> we got... Uh, so well, I need to stay awake. Yeah. So, to be f- before uh, your coffee kicks in and you have to take a power dump... Because coffee is a natural diuretic. Why don't you tell us where everybody can find your music, your tour dates, buy your merchandise, and donate coffee? Um, right. Well, with the Smoking Hearts, uh, our website's really easy. It's smokinghearts.com. And everything you need to know about the band is on that site. The tour dates, the merch, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagrams. Personal addresses, home addresses, anything you need to stalk us, all on that site. So that's really it, really. So, um. I can't, we, got, we just come off tour with, uh, I don't know if you're fans of them, the Black Veil Brides. Just been on tour with them in the UK. Um, and about to do a tour with House Storm. And that's, that's it for now, at the moment. Uh. Um, and our album's out in a week, I think, in the States. Nice. On the 28th of January. Nice. So uh, give us a little bit of the, the background history of the band. Um, uh, we formed about, I think, with me and the band three years ago. But most of the guys have been playing in bands together since they were in school. So that must be about 14 years now, I think, they've been, they've been playing together. And then I joined about three years ago. Oh, okay. And I'm still the new boy, and I'm still treated like the new boy. Damn, you need to bust our ass. Well, you're the, you're the yeah, singer, so they right. need you. Do you ever tell... Yeah, them? there is that. Do you I ever... Still, still, I'm the new boy. Do you tell... Um, you... Yeah, I've caused enough trouble that they, uh... They get, they get kind of, uh... Hello? Yes. Do you, uh... You just beat... Oh, that was that was Dom's. Uh, he did a diabetes test trip, <laughs> and he's in the red. We we play. We like to play a game, and the, the whoever of our listeners gets closest wins something when they guess his blood sugar level. <laughs> so, I, th- I think tonight we'll be giving away another autograph. Um, George, Poster George Lynch. Yeah, any, from 1989. You got any interest in that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know what his blood sugar level will be. I reckon it's very high. Well, he is. He does have the diabetes. This is the farewell to Dom's foot show. Oh, Would you yeah. like to say a loving, warm farewell to Dom's left foot? <laughs> is it getting that bad? <laughs> Not yet, but any day now. We're on the precipice. Um. I don't know. Can I have the foot? <laughs> you can mount it. You can you can bronze it and hang it from yeah. your rearview mirror. Yeah, <laughs> like little kid yeah, we'll shoes. It, we'll put it in the fan. Big <laughs> big old greasy dago foot, <laughs> full of hey, diabetes. At least, hey, at least my nails are good. They're not all fungal and stuff. Uh, well, they're not. They're they're nice. Uh, 
Is that a pedicure or just naturally? They're just naturally beautiful. Well, it's nothing. He hasn't seen. Oh, I don't know who he's kidding. He hasn't seen his his feet in like a month. I really or not a month in like a year. I went and saw my podiatrist. My podiatrist, and I let her play with my feet. Yeah. I had to pull them out of her mouth, but. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that was bad. I know. Oh, look at that! Go down to that. I like the I like the smoking hearts. Go, go everybody! Go check out their merchandise. They have a their own version of the take the. The TCB in a Flash logo. Yeah, we do. Yeah, and we, we also have a Motorhead one as well. <laughs> you guys, got anything original? We used to we used to sell our own hot sauce until uh, we sold out. Well, we we didn't really sell out. We just used it all. What did you? What did you call it? The Smoking Hearts Burning Farts Hot Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Off of Your Head because it's after one of the songs on the album. Yeah, I had the I had the I had the screaming, burning, bleeding farts this morning and all day. I didn't make the wisest choice. I had Taco Bell at three in the morning. Do you guys have Taco That's Bell over there? We 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 had Taco Bell um, when we did South by Southwest. I think me and Noba, a guitarist, we had a hotel a motel together, and he was really hungry. And about ten a.m. I don't know where, but he came back with five dollars worth of Taco Bell. And it lasted him about three hours, and then he sat in the toilet for three hours. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah. it's not what you got; it's the, what you get. It's the worst thing he's ever done, and you'll never eat it again. Oh God, I give me back. I had some at three in the morning, and I could shit through a screen door and not touch anything right now. But everything makes me shit like that. I could drink a, I could drink yeah. water, and that does that. Yeah, uh, no, was, um he rang me. He, he rang through. I was in the other room because I couldn't deal with his toilet. He was farting anymore. <laughs> he goes, I "Put it this way, I've just farted, and there's some of it's on my pillow." <laughs> <laughs> it's a great colon cleanser. Yes, I'm, I'm sure yeah, if you is. if you ate some celery with it, I'm sure you rip out some polyps and stuff on the way out. You know, you good for you. I don't think it. I actually, I don't think it was the ta- Taco Bell is one of the few fast foods I. That doesn't give me the shit. Like McDonald's, I can eat an egg McMuffin, and I could like oh, before I'm done with it, I'll be shitting. It's a sauce. So- it's so- the greasy sausage. <laughs> yeah, egg McMuffin is definitely a, a they're like the reverse colonic irrigation. Mm-hmm. Dom loves greasy sausage. They're always better anyway. going in. Yeah, what do they yeah. What do they have over in England aside from like London broil and fish and chips? Like, what fast foods do they have? We have um, McDonald's, KFC. Um, we had one Taco Bell, and that that got quite, that didn't last very long. Your, um, your bandmate blew up the did. toilet. <laughs> oh wait, that um, was in Austin. And, and then we've got um, we've got our own sort of McDonald's. It's called Wimpy. Oh yeah, I've, I've eaten at Wimpy's before. They have yeah, their hamburgers. They have eggs in them. They have eggs in their hamburgers, don't they? Yeah, and it's called. Uh, they got one. It's called a bender in a bun. Oh, they're they're pretty rough. Does it have like a like a, sh- a hit of heroin in it or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you said you were over here for South by Southwest. Do you have any plans of touring America and trying to take the colonies back for the <laughs> for the motherland? <laughs> um, I'm I'm not really sure. We're meant to be out. Uh, we're meant to be coming over in in April this year but um, that got put back because we're doing house storm tour over here um, but well, I think we're meant to come back in May or June for uh, an extended period of time but I'm not sure exactly what the dates are or who it's with or where we're going to be going but that's one of the, the plans is May, June in the States Nice Did you Do so you be fun. Did, do you Did you find that the American the American women were better groomed than the British women? Um, they, they can't handle their drink as well as the British women. I know that. I can agree um, But they are, they, they, I don't know, it depends. Yeah, they are quite well groomed. But I wouldn't say they were better well groomed, better groomed than the UK. I don't know what, what Americans opinion, or American uh, idea of a, a British woman's grooming is. 
I don't know. I, all I know is Elizabeth Hurley is fucking hot. She's she's British, yeah, she, right? So is B. Arthur. For her, right? So is Pippa. Pippa Middleton, is that Pippa, her name? Oh, oh, Pippa, Pippa, yeah, the, the, you, you Americans are, are obsessed with Pippa Middleton, yeah. I don't think she's all that. Oh, she's, she's beautiful. I only know her because uh, there's this lounge singer I listen to named Rich, Richard Cheese. And he does, oh, yeah. he did a live album that was supposedly from the royal wedding. Obviously, it was just recorded at at some somewhere here. And he actually says, "Pippa, Pippa, come undo my zipper." <laughs> but it was pretty oh, funny. Did you? So, like, I know that uh, you know you got that whole island thing that you guys share with uh, Ireland and Scotland and shit. When you, do you ever bang an Irish woman and say, England, get out of Scot- Ireland? <laughs> no. You're going to do it now, aren't you? I think, I, I'm not really sure what that, what you mean by that. Well, here, what, here's, let me break it down for you. So you, next time you bang an Irish woman... Because, you know, like, Ireland yeah. wanted their freedom. and What was what was that dude's name? Sinead O'Connor? Yeah. Hell, like, always said, England, get out of Ireland or whatever. Yeah. Next time you bang an yeah. Irish broad, just say that in the middle of banging her. And then, and then blow your then blow your British charm all over her face. You gotta do the... <laughs> okay. I'll bear that. I'll, I'll remember that, and I'll think of you as I do it. Oh, don't think of me. Think of Dom's foot. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Oh, no. <laughs> We could scream okay, freedom, so I'll, I'll, like yeah, like William Wallace, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> like throw your sword. I swear that Taco Bell was saying that, <laughs> screaming that when it was flying out of my anus. <laughs> so if you who if you could come over here and tour with any, like any bands, <laughs> what would you? Tour? We're watching. We're looking at some of your pictures on Instagram, and the one that just flashed up was who someone standing there and someone drew like a cartoon. Giant cartoon penis. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, the glories of Snapchat. <laughs> Who is taking over everyone's world in the UK at the moment? Yeah, if you could, uh, if you could uh, tour with anybody over here, who would um, be? Is it, well, I think the band would love to over there uh, in America is probably uh, Every Time I Die. I think they're a great band. They'd be good to tour with. Sorry, slurping my coffee. Um, yeah, or a bat, or I don't know, Rocket from the Crypt, something like that. Uh, Pennywise. We did a few shows with a band called uh, Death by Stereo. Um, they were that was fun. But um, I can't really think. Well, I think we just want to talk with anyone in the states. Mm. Just get over there. Morning wagon. But yeah, or I mean, I'm not sure how 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 well known the Counts Bats are from Canada in. America, they'd be a good band to tour with in, uh, in the who? States. We'd get on quite well with them. We toured the, the UK a few times with them. Wait, who was that? The what? Uh, cancer Bats. Oh, it was oh, Cancer yeah. Bats. Yeah. That'd be a fun tour to do in the States, I think. Oh. And another time, for, for everybody just tuning in here, uh, we had the frontman from the band The Smoking Hearts, and we got Ben on the phone here, and we're just touching base with them, you know, just get the word out there about their new record uh, that's coming out here, uh, and just just want to help get the word out there to everybody. You need to check these guys out. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you should definitely check us out, everyone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, the album's out on Bullet Tooth um, on the 28th of January. Nice. So uh, get your pre-orders in now on their website. Some good stuff there, man. I'm glad I got turned on to this. Uh, Michael passes on to me. He says, man, you got to check these guys out. I've been listening to them for some time, and you really like them. And I was like, okay, I put them on here. I'm like, damn, this is good. And, and I, I kind of bypassed a bunch of people, and I went right to you and to get you on the show here, man. And I really appreciate you you know, taking time out and coming on here with us. Yeah, that's, that's cool, man. It's good to, uh, to be off. Really, it's, it's, it's weird getting messages asking to be on radio stations in <laughs> in the states. Obviously, the album's been out in the UK for over a year now, oh, wow. and we've just been waiting for it to come out in um, uh, in America. We've been like sort of pushed around from different labels, and finally, Josh Bulletproof went, "Let's just have it. Let's put it out." And mm-hmm. it's been, it, it, 
it's absolutely fantastic. He's worked so hard. Nice. To get that record out. We really appreciate everything he's done. And just a couple more things here, you know, before we get going here. But um, myself, man, I really thank you again for being on here and, you know, getting for us having the opportunity to check in you out and your music and everything. Oh, cool. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. The opportunity to do it. Are you uh, are you guys coming back for the uh, what do you call it? Um, South you South by Southwest again? Um, not this year. No, we were, we were meant to, but then we've got um, some shows over in the UK that we've already confirmed, so we can't get out. And so we're gonna we're gonna give that a miss this year. But we'll we'll have another record next year, so we'll be over blogging that. Yeah. trying to get some more people interested but last year was so much fun like, I, I think South by Southwest is possibly the best week of, of my life I've never had so much fun there's we a lot there's so a lot many shows here, I think yeah. we played something like 10 shows in 3 days wow at South by Southwest it's pretty but impressive it, it, there's something great about it I mean we were walking down the street one day and Andrew WK drove right past on a bike and Jack Black was playing with an umpire band in the middle of the street. It's just absolutely bizarre. Yeah. yeah. Did um, you guys, you guys, got any uh, European stuff? Maybe Australia, Jap- uh, Japan, China. Um, um, we've got a European tour. Um, that's uh, in April with Hailstorm. Um, and we we played Soundwave in Australia last year. Is it last year or the year before last? Year before last, um, and we're going back there next year. They were the, fir- the Australia was the first um, country to release Victory, so we get to get back there with a new album in a couple of years or in a year. And that was just a festival you played over there, you said? Yeah, it was. Um, it's a two-week festival like over the whole of Australia. Ah. Uh, um, who- played groups like Slipknot and System of a Down, um, loads of bands like uh, Chromags. Um, all of them, really. All those, all those names of bands. Very you well. can imagine. Very well. What would you? Uh, what would you? What festival would be your like your dream festival to play? Because I know there's like Europe has all those big festivals. America. Yeah, we've got a fair few over here. I don't know. The American ones, Coachella's pretty cool. Um. We just the lineup for this year is amazing, especially the Sunday. Um, I don't know. I'd like to play. Uh, I don't know. I'd just like to play Bon Jovi. I think any festival Bon Jovi's on. Yeah. Just get drunk and shout at old women when they tits out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like a bar, that's like a local bar over here. Knee knocking titties. You like them? You like them young and young and high, or you like them low and saggy? Uh, I like them young and high. Yeah. And. Old and saggy, really. I've Damn, you like mine then. Yeah, Dom's got a nice <laughs> set of perky B pluses. That's right. If you don't mind a little hair on them. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Like, I don't mind a ring of hair around a nipple. <laughs> there you go. You keep the milk <laughs> warm. Keep character. That's right. Yeah. It's good for flossing. I like. I prefer an, a nice young shaved boy myself. <laughs> and by by young, I mean nineteen or twenty. <laughs> yeah, the age of consent. Dom's been with a few lady boys, by the way. I didn't know that. Or Benny boys, as he always says. Benny took many trips to uh, Thailand, yeah. Yep, as he probably it. calls them. You, you ever, you ever get, you ever get involved with a tranny governor? <laughs> I've never been involved with a tranny, no, but I, there's a town um, in England where the most attractive girl in that town was actually a tranny. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Was a, it was a horrible? It, we were on tour once, and I was like, "The only attractive girl in this room is actually a man." Yeah, she's terrible. B- so, did, yeah, that's uh, that's England for you. Pre, pre or post? As as you guys say over there, did she have the meat and two veg? Uh, pre. Oh, she had the meat and two veg. Yeah. Oh, so that's out. That's out of the question. But uh, yeah, it's out of the question. But you know, if the if if the the twig and berries were gone, would you have given it a whirl? <laughs> I'm not sure. They're just clipped. So if he was neutered, right? 
Well, I mean, it would be like driving. A, <laughs> it would be like taking a boat through the Panama Canal. You know, it's man-made, but it still gets yeah, you where you need to go. Right, a little spit and good and go. Dude, I would totally bang a. I would totally bang a post-op tranny if if she was the hottest girl. Yeah, I mean, you're it's asking for a lot. Room, you're gonna do it. It never I mean, works that way. You always end up drunk in a bar, and you end up with one of them. No, I've never always, I, I actually. Ever, oh, always. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, yeah, I never. I never knew what a Benny boy was until you said anything, Dom. Man, I just hate it when you get those like um, those stubble marks on your back. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, not from experience. No. <laughs> I hate when you get a bleeding anus from a giant cock yeah. ramming you yeah, not, not full speed <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the yeah. inc- inconsiderate people who don't use lube. That's right. That's right. I mean, I'm not opposed to to alternative lifestyles. I think everybody has yeah. the right to be happy, but my happiness involves no penis near my rectum. Won't be the first. <laughs> or in in my hands or in my mouth, unless in my hands if I'm going to the bathroom or if I'm stretching my meat. Somebody else's? No. I mean, if you give me enough money, I'll. I'll so what's what's your going rate? I want, uh, me or what would, yeah? What would you yeah, take? Let's ask our guest okay. first. How how much would it take you to take a shot across the face? Who you? You? Me. Yeah, I'll tell you my number after you tell me yours. Um, ten grand. Wow, you work cheap. Yeah, well, you know, money's tight. You must have been in movies. <laughs> money's tight, but for that price, your anus won't be very long. <laughs> hi Across the face, 10 grand. In actually, penetration, I'm going to say 50. Wow. 50 grand. You, you do work cheap. See, I would need enough money that I would never have to work again. Really? Yeah. I, I think you just got to go, right, that's my 50 grand. Okay, I've done it. Nope. You know, it's only, it's only 50 grand. It's only like, it's only one in, isn't it? In and out. It's uh, not like a full I mean, assault, is it? I mean, I'm talking, or you gotta it? work the shaft. The twist in the balls. The tornado and all and that. You gotta, you gotta take that shot right in your grill, too, brother. Because you gotta smile? No, you, you gotta it take it in your mouth. Oh, wow. No, you said across the face, not... Okay, okay, well, middle. across the face, but still for 10 grand, dude? I'm, 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 I'm about to start rolling my pennies. <laughs> Just to see if you're a man of your word. Now, that's... that's uh, You've got to get across the pond as well. I got a boat. I got a canoe or a kayak. If you show up at my door with 10 grand... And you come in a boat, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I ain't coming in a boat, I'm coming in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi-o! <laughs> Thank you, good night. <laughs> Sorry, you, you set me up on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would need a. Uh, I would. You give me enough money that I don't have to work again. <laughs> this sounds like a dating service now. I would, uh, I would, dude, I would fucking. I would go to town. So, what's your price? Let me think of how much money I make a year. <laughs> you know, double that. No. Does any? Does it have to be on the internet or anything? No, no. This is perfectly private. Like nobody has to know. That's that's kind of cheating, though. What? And in, indecent proposal. Yeah. Uh, you actually are writing this out. You're trying to figure. I'm trying out. to figure out. I'm doing some Jewy math here. It would probably have to be close to at least somewhere close to a million dollars. Damn. Well, Does really? it work again? Is it like pesos or it euros? A bit much. Yeah, well, I'm going to do a good fucking job, man. You can get your money's worth. Yeah. You can get the best blow oh, job not, of I'm your not, life. I'm putting no effort in. Ten grand, no effort. <laughs> no, effort. No, effort. no. You're gonna get, get I'm a not good. You're gonna get a good no smile, no like, no, no. I'm not faking it. You're gonna get I'm a good mouth anything. pumping for ten, 10 grand. grand. <laughs> Do all the work. You're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna sit there and get your mouth pumped, <laughs> and you're gonna. <laughs> and, and then it'll be like that high school thing. Don't worry, honey. I'll pull out when I'm yeah, gonna come. Just, just a tip. <laughs> It's just a tap. You ever, you ever, you ever do that shit? You're like, don't worry, I'll pull it out when I'm gonna come. 
and you just fucking jam their their face down a little further, <laughs> and then they look up with that look in their eyes. They say, like, "Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Mom, I'm sorry." No, my mom would never oh, ask me to pull. Dad, out. you just stepped out on my line. Did, did, oh damn! I said my, my mom would never ask me to pull out. Oh, then you would have said, "Oh, well, my dad would." Yeah, no. My damn, mom. I was. See. Oh, <sighs> so everybody, in cl- for ten grand, you can go over to England and get your dick sucked. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It, it, it'll be more like a mouth pumping, but would you give them a free CD? Yeah, ten yeah, grand. Yeah, go on. Can't t- yeah, tell me it's like I'm moving it, <laughs> sleeping in. <laughs> yeah, like it is a tissue. Clean yourself off. <laughs> Ten grand, you get a a blowjob from an up and coming. It's rock one of the star. pre-order specials that you can get for Brother Two. <laughs> See, what you need to do is make that make that offer for your your drummer or your bass player. Sell someone yeah. else out. The singer should yeah, cost I'd, more. A drummer would probably wouldn't. I think he would just just curl up and die if someone even tried it. <laughs> it's like no, and just roll over. <laughs> I'm not sure about uh, this player, Calvin. He, he'd probably have a quite low price as well, I think. <laughs> he might do a better job, though. Yeah, he would do a better job. He'd smile at the end. He's, dedica- he's definitely dedicated. He's more dedicated. He's more into the band. Well, you are the new guy. You take one for the team. Yeah, exactly. He's heart, so he's heart's a bit more than mine is. <laughs> <laughs> he's not full beer as well. Damn. Hey, and on that note here, we're going to get going here. <laughs> I know, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. So, so everybody, the bottom line is, if you're going to see the smoking hearts, pay for the meet Bring and greet. Bring your wallet. <laughs> pay for the meet and greet. And if you got an extra 10, 15 grand. You get hooked up. You know, Yeah, 10 grand yeah, exactly. you get. Come, let, let, come for the meet and greet and then. Stay for the meet and eat. So, yeah, come for the meat and greet. So yeah. for ten grand, you get a knobber. Do you, will you throw in a rim job for an extra five? No. No. No, oh. that's 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 getting up to like the thirty four ways, I think. Okay. For that, I'm just trying to yeah. help an up and coming that's brother right. out. You know, does that get you some demo? <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the the help and the enthusiasm to help. You know. Are you allowed to pimp on the radio? Yes. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I am. I'm Jaime the Jewish pimp. <laughs> Jaime. <laughs> you can, you could for for fifty dollars, you can whack off with Dom's recently dismembered left foot. <laughs> for ten grand, it makes can, a good charm. For ten grand, you can get an arbor from the. The lead singer of the hottest new band out of England, The Smoking Hearts. So I got a question. What's the difference between the United Kingdom? Well, the United Kingdom, I know, is the island as a whole. What's the difference between yeah. Britain and England? Well, Great Britain is the same as the United Kingdom, basically. Okay. And then England. England is one of the countries in Great Britain. Okay. I didn't know that. See, I thought Scotland, Wales, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and England. Oh, and a... then and then then Ireland or Air is uh, completely removed of United Kingdom and Great Britain. I did not know that. Yeah, and so I, Ireland is two countries. I did not know that Great Britain was actually all of that one but, big island. Yeah, I learned something new tonight. Well, yeah, I, knew, I learned yeah, two things. A, a lot of people say that Britain ain't great anymore. Like, and what yeah. do you say to, to that? I say yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's still Great Britain, isn't it? It's still your country you're from. You've got to have a bit, have a bit of patriotism, isn't it? Haven't you? Do they circumcise you blokes over there? <laughs> no. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't wish people do, but no, it's not. The circumcision is not really a, a thing over here. So you got the bishop and the okay. turtleneck. <laughs> I, I tell a lie. Great Britain is only England, Scotland, and Wales. Mm-hmm. Are you wikiing this right now? No, I just wikied it. <laughs> oh, I did. Mm, so, so for ten grand, you can get 
<laughs> a young British lad, <laughs> uncircumcised, to put your wiener in his mouth, but you got to move it around. And you cannot yeah. jazz in his mouth. No, across the face. Across the face. Not a, not on your bare chest, you won't rub it in? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, go on, you can have, you got a choice. The, the, across the face of the chest, 10 grand. <laughs> I, need, I need money up front, though. I need money you take paid into my bank account. No, no half up front, no half seas, no half up front. No. no, it's got to be full payment up front. I can't, can't trust people these days. Oh. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever bang an English or an American woman when you're at South by Southwest, like you and the band, like gang bang a chick and go all at once? The British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just thought uh, of that. Hey. Uh, no, it, we didn't. I wish we had, though. Now you got that, that in your cachet. I'm writing that down now. That is going on the list of things to do. There you go. I did. <laughs> That's awesome. So, one more time. Everybody, it's the smokinghearts.com. Is that right? Yeah. No, it's just smokinghearts.com. Smoke that. No, the. Oh. Oh. We're making it easier for people. Okay. I just saw, it, like, he's still got you up on the page. Not, not dot .uk, dot .com. No, dot .com. Yeah. We're global. We're nationwide. That's right. All right. Well, what what's, do we have his album up there? Yeah, we got it. What song would you like us to play? Oh, I just I just got the, um, the one song. Oh, the we, we just, what song? It's Seatbelt. Oh, it's Seatbelt, isn't it? Yeah. We could play any song you want as long as it's Seatbelt. <laughs> um, play, play Seatbelt, I reckon. That's the one I want to hear. What's your favorite British band? Favorite British band? Oh, of all time? Yeah. Uh, probably The Clash. The Clash. What other? Or Def Leppard. <laughs> Before or after he lost his arm? That's a good um, question. During the, the, the whole, oh damn, right the whole when the arm went, you know, the best. I oh, know. I think after the drum, after his arm went, they, uh, well, they got worse. What do you, what do you think about him having one arm and beating his wife at the airport with his bad arm? He, what? He only had one arm when he did. Didn't he have his prosthetic arm? Was, was he never had a prosthetic arm? You jack off. <laughs> did he not? I don't know about this. Did, All right. He got. Didn't he get? He got arrested or something at the, at an airport. He was drunk and I think he was, domestic violencing his wife. Like I don't know if he. I don't know if he was like one arm choking her, or something or hit her. Just gives her a people's elbow. That bitch should have done the dishes. That's what, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Well, he can't, can he? You guys, got, you guys got one running water over there? <laughs> oh, wait. What? Never mind. That's not... I was thinking Australia. Never Australia. mind. Australia. A little off. Yeah. Why do Why do the people in India speak better English than the people in America and, and England, for that um, matter? They go to school. Because they're, 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 they're trained, aren't they? They're, oh. they're so proper. Yeah, I don't know if it's. Like the, I think it's just like a, a work thing, isn't it? Because a lot of them work in call centers and stuff, and they're trained to talk English. Yes, but they they can only talk really well English, really good English from a script. So if you try and vary away from the script, they go mental and they can't speak it. Ah, uh, mm. I see. Yeah, apparently, uh, in 1995. The drummer was arrested for spouse abuse in Los Angeles International Airport. He dragged his wife Stacy into a restroom by the throat and slammed her head against the wall. That's hard. Thank you. I told you. See what happens yeah, when you guilty. See what happens when you don't swallow? <laughs> or do the dishes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we got community service though, so Who what do you say to a woman with two black eyes? Do the dishes again. I don't know. Nothing. She didn't listen the first two oh, times. That's, right. <laughs> that's awful. All right. Oh god. I hope none. Of, I hope none of our fans have listened. Our young impressionable fans have listened. To this. We do not condone violence against women. No, we definitely don't. Unless you're one hundred percent. Unless you're beating up a girl's pussy <laughs> or smacking her ass, and she likes that. 
How vile. <laughs> I ain't smelling this shit over here next to me right now. Yeah, I think I just shat in my pantaloonies. <laughs> it's the, the Taco Bell kicking in. It's, don't worry, it's kosher. I just had a trust <laughs> fart. I just gambled and lost. Did any, have you ever? I did. Have you ever shit your pants on stage? Not on stage, no. <laughs> In the tour bus. <laughs> I've I've done it. Um, I was we were doing a DJ set and I've done it there. Uh, and I, went, I had to run off and go and, and get changed and shower. It was a uh, it was embarrassing, but no one knew. I just kept it to myself. Now everyone knows. That's right. Did you ever like? Were you ever like sitting on your couch in your flat watching the telly, and you you were like, I right, I'm gonna squeeze out a little cheese, and you you think you're you're doing the trust fart thing, and you throw some mud in your nickels. Yes, yeah, a shark. <laughs> no, I'm not on the flat. Not in my flat. No, not not sitting watching telly. It's not me. If I need to, I'll just go to the toilet if I feel like it's gonna come out. Yeah, well, sometimes you don't think. You, sometimes you just think it's yeah, going to be some wind. What's the risk? Is it? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm at like a ninety-nine point nine percent gambling success rate. Even more than that. Like I shit my pants like once every ten to twelve years. That's not bad. Yeah. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good ratio of not shitting your pants. <clears throat> Tonight's the night, though. I can feel it. There is a ride in the dungeon. A ride in the dungeon. <laughs> I want to find an English broad and teabagger. David Coverdale is available. <laughs> David Coverdale. That's awful. Why he popped up there? David Coverdale's a... He lives in Reno. What? He lives in Reno. Does he? Yeah. David Coverdale is, was, had a pretty good fucking career there. Not to mention he was married to Tawny Katane. Yeah, that, you know, I was trying to get her on the show tonight. That's no shit. She never got the tramp. Met, never, um, the lady never got back to me. Hey, do not talk. I know. About I, Tony I, I you see how fast that's I like. Back. One, that's the dream right there. Tony, I've been t- I've been t- trying to talk real nice to her. Mm-hmm. Like, please. Are you peeing while right. you're on the radio? No, I'm pouring myself a glass of water. Uh huh. I thought it was a bidet. So do you feel that Austin Powers set the United Kingdom back 10 to 15 years? Uh, uh, I found it, I thought it was quite racist. I thought, uh, is Mike, Michael Myers being a racist? No, it, was, it, it didn't really. I think it, it just sort of gave it, continued the stereotype that we've all got terrible teeth. Yeah, is that true or not? No, I've got the great teeth. Yeah, to come across. Yeah, exactly. You got, you know, you got to look good on camera. <laughs> who do you who do you think is who? So you think the greatest band, the greatest bands from England are the Clash? Yeah. Who's the other band that? I we, mean, there's Iron, there's Iron Maiden. Oh. They're, they're pretty fantastic. Black Sabbath, uh-huh. amazing. Uh-huh. Um, there's loads in there. Saxon. Oh, denim and leather. Do you wear them together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta wear denim and leather together. Nice. Never yeah. double denim though. No, uh, no love for the Beatles. No love for the. I, I mean, Led the Beatles Zeppelin. Right. I'm just not a massive fan. I, I think it's a bit. I prefer. I liked it towards the end when they got heavier. Yeah. A bit, a bit more. Uh, I, know, I didn't really like the poppy stuff. Led Zeppelin. Um, I didn't really. I was not a massive fan of the Sex Pistols because they're the first really manufactured band. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the Clash, Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden. You got you got no love for Led Zeppelin, Rolling Stones. Um, I, I, I love the Stones. Um, Led yeah. Zeppelin never really, I never really got into Led Zeppelin. What about Queen? I'm a, I'm a bit, bit Queen. Yeah, I forgot about Queen. It's very hard. It's one o'clock in the morning, or it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I, I made a great decision at 3 in the morning and had Taco Bell, and you can't even remember this? Come on. <laughs> it's a long list. There's loads of great English bands. Yes. Um, yeah. Who else? Oh, there's Gallows. Um, uh, and the Kinks. Were they English? They were, weren't they? The Ruts. Um, oh, I 
Comedy really Think of anymore. Modern English? Modern English bands. Uh, Arctic Monkeys, they're pretty good. Duran um, Duran? Till Tuesday? What? Till Tuesday was not from England, you fucking they diabetic been. prick. <laughs> they should have been. Hush, hush, keep it down, down over there. Wasn't Kajagoogoo from England? They should have been too. Banana Rama. Oh, Banana Rama. Banana Rama are all from the UK. Yeah. yeah, good one. Thank you. Yeah, good one. Are there any bands from Ireland? Flogging um, Molly. You too, even though they're one of the worst bands of all time. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Yep. They're, you oh, too are the worst band ever. They're pretty bad. They have like. Yeah. There's Bo- a- Bono is further up his ass than fucking Morrissey. Yeah. Isn't the um, isn't the Cure from England? The Cure are from England, yeah. Robert Smith. They have a few good songs. Yeah, they do. I'm just they're, thinking. They're not. My, they're not one of my favorites. Yeah. What if somebody put it? Put it, do they have iPods in England? Yeah, yeah, we have iPods in England. Electricity, and shit, computers, and what we've, have you. We've got. We've just got um, this thing. Uh, picture boxes. Never heard of that. No, the the tele the television. Oh, let's see. Um, what what would be the most embarrassing thing someone found in your iPod? Oh, it's so much. My iPod's awful. Like, um, what, what's your guilty pleasure? What do you listen to? Uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, wow. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Oh well, if you like it, you like it. Yeah, Kelly Clarkson, that's on there as well. Oh, she's she's really cute when she thins out a little bit. Yeah, but she gets yeah, kind of piggy. She's a chunk now, isn't she? Yeah. She what? She's a bit of a chunky one now, isn't she? Is she? Mm-hmm. I don't I don't keep up on pop culture. She looks like Nell Carter a little bit now. Oh, I love Nell Carter. I'd get on that big black ass like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> That's besides the point that she's dead. Is she really? Yeah, she's been dead for. A few oh, I thought years. you were just talking about her career. No. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you. So, do, have you ever seen the Golden Girls over in England? Um, I've never watched an episode, but I do know what it is. No, oh, never mind then. Because we were gonna, I was going to ask you which uh, which Golden Girl would you like to bang? <laughs> what? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know where they are. Which one's which? The sassy one. Well, no, the sassy one. I don't know who that is, but... What's her name? Blanche? Yeah. yeah. Blanche, that's it. Yeah, so... Oh, Blanche. So, do you, what do you think a better island is to be stranded on? The one from Lost, the United Kingdom, or Gilligan's Island? Oh, that's good. Um, um, I don't know. I've not really watched Lost. Um, I'll just say the United Kingdom. Go on. Let's just stay home. Don't have to go anywhere. The professor just died. Yeah, he died. Yeah. They never said really? his... Did you know they never said his name on the show? No, the, the professor. The professor. So he was Professor Feces. Is that, yep. Is that Lost? <laughs> no, I, that I was Gilligan's, Gilligan's Island. Lost was a pretty good show, actually. Is that I, the one they had the dinosaurs on? There was a smoke monster, yes. Yeah. I saw one episode. I think it was the first Yeah, one. I watched the first season and then I got bored. Mm. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to go because this phone call's pretty cost me about 100 quid. So. How much is 100 quid? Is that uh, like 50 about pesos? $200. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm phoning in America, aren't I? On a mobile phone. It, $100. You need to get Vonage. They're crazy, crazy generous. Nine ninety nine a month. <laughs> I'm not, we don't have that over here. We have expensive, more expensive, and even more expensive. Well, fuck, I guess we better, like, try to promote your That's band, That's we definitely will. TheSmokingHearts.com, they're fucking worldwide. Check them out. Get in on the ground floor, and you might be able to get that knobber for ten grand before right. the price goes up. They can make his money back, pay his phone bill. That's right. Yeah. And some. That's what I need. I can fight in every week for ten weeks. That's right. Well, thank exactly. you, thank you for your time, good sir, and we will we will do what we can to help you and let us know when you got some monkey business going on so we can help promote you guys. Oh, cool. Well, I'll see you. Uh, I hope to see you in the in May or June. All right, I'll, I'll be. I'll, um, we'll come on the show. I'll have ten grand by then. Yeah, I'll save him. <laughs>
My price might have gone up by then, though. I don't know. Maybe it'll go Deal's down. the deal. I'm, lo- I'm locked in, man. Yeah, this is copyrighted. I'm locked in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you put the money in my account now, I'll definitely do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. See you guys later. Take okay, care. Going. And then what are we going to play yeah, now? Babe. Seatbelt? Yep. Seatbelt coming at you from the Smoking Hearts. That's right. Go, everybody go and buy their merchandise and their CDs and... But I'm sure they got music on iTunes, so we can just help pay for that $100 phone call. That's right. We'll be right back after this here on Maximum Threshold. This is the Smoking Hearts with Seatbelts. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.